Today we're traveling from Guam to Los Angeles. Guam to Los Angeles. Guam to Los Angeles. Let's get this day started. So here's the rundown. To get from Guam to Los Angeles, it's about 16 hours of travel. 16 hours of travel. And on top of that, whenever I make this trip, I always have to figure out what parts of the plane ride I'm gonna sleep on so that I can adjust to the time difference well. Because Guam is about 16 or 17 hours ahead. It's actually the earliest time zone in the US. The route that I'm taking starts from Guam to Japan, which is four hours, another hour layover in Japan, then from Japan to San Francisco, which is a nine hour flight, one hour layover there, and then from San Francisco to Los Angeles, which is about an hour or two. But let's hop back into the vlog. First things first, I gotta pack my flights in two hours. So, let's get packing. All I brought with me to Guam is this nice small carry-on, so packing wasn't that bad. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I've been living out of this carry-on for about three and a half months now. Um, granted, I do have stuff here back home. So, nice quick and easy job, and now it's off to the airport. The overshirt, nice plain t-shirt, and some slack. I think I'm ready now. Can't forget the mask. First stop, Guam Airport. Bye, Louis. Louis, let's go. Yeah. Um, mask. Gotta stay safe. Parking. It's an expensive camera, man. Yeah, thank you, man. You're welcome. Sweet. All through. Mask on. The first leg of this travel was from Guam to Japan, and that's usually not too bad of a flight. It's just about four hours long. What I've noticed is that the airlines are taking better measures to make sure that their passengers are sanitized so that they have a clean environment. I was also quite surprised that they served meals on this plane because coming to Guam, none of my flights served meals. Initially, that was probably a safety measure to prevent the transfer of germs and bacteria. But that was one flight down, and it's off to get ready to San Francisco. My flight from Japan all the way to San Francisco, I was actually upgraded to the first class, which is pretty cool for, for the first time. And I have so much like to check this out. I never fly first class, and so was that extra leg room, the fully reclinable chairs, the good food, was that all enjoyable? 100% it was. But would I pay for it? Right now, probably not, but maybe one day. Class food taste test. Mm, pretty good. I have to admit, the extra luxuries were nice, but what actually gave me the most comfort was not having too many other passengers around me, especially in a time like this. So I tried to force myself to get some sleep so that I could start adjusting to the time difference, but for some reason I always have a hard time falling asleep on flights. I was only able to get one hour of sleep, so it's going to be a pretty rough day. What's going on family? I hope you guys enjoyed that edit I made of my trip from back home all the way to here in Los Angeles. Originally I was supposed to be there for another four to five weeks, but a brand reached out to me saying that they needed some work done, some content done, and all of the pieces really just aligned for me to be able to take this trip and to take this job. So I'm pretty excited to be out here. Other than this shoot, I have a couple other things planned here in California, so I think it's gonna be a pretty exciting month. Um, and I'll just be switching up the style of content just to get a good feel for what I like putting out. As always, your feedback means a lot for the future of this channel, so um, as I start switching up the styles of content with some more simple and fun stuff like this, 
and some more cinematic stuff. Just let me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like and we can go from there. But I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Sunday and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace everyone.